Oke okay guys, kita meski ke game pertama match kedua ya antara Falcons AB Brand melawan Smart Omega. Kita lihat aja guys ya. Kyle Tezi dia pakai Alpha, Andrew pakai Julianto ya. Sama-sama fighter guys. Kita lihat aja. Ini PH lawan PH guys ya. Like Julian just straight up has a stronger early game comparatively. Again, Cuma yang satu pernah juara dunia, yang satu stuck di situ-situ aja, guys. Which means that his time is accelerated compared to others. Chuck Nook could be in trouble though. Grok definitely one of those heroes that can be weak to Zeus. Yeah, so flicker, bro. Well, uh, I like how few is just abusing for the fact that, you know, level 1, level 2, there's not a lot of mages who almost has close to infinite amount of of mana to actually kind of contribute in team fights. So, in in this case, I feel like a uh, few had a very very good start right now able to get a couple of harassments in you know setting up for pre uh, level four but it does delay up on the rotations coming from Kao easy for now but even if i say that he was kind of annoyed look at him he still hits level four before anduryu yeah i mean we know that alpha farms very quickly that's another factor of why he is a hero that gets picked up pretty often his damage output works on heroes, works on jungle camps as well. Can definitely match assassins in the meta where if all the assassins are gone, he's a pretty obvious choice. And I do think that AP Brand wants to be the team that are starting to set things up early on. We already know that Alpha and Harif are the type of heroes that will end up falling off a little bit once you get to the late, late stages. And Joman the Moskov has already turned games around for Omega before. This is so unlucky of Andrew Hill. He's actually one creep behind Kautizi just because of the fact he wasn't able to steal the one creep up top. And because of this, Kautizi is going to be hitting his level 5 very, very soon here. And the moment he hits it, we are going to see a huge power spike where Spawn Omega is not going to be able to do too much. But as soon as I say this here, Chak Nu, he does have his 4 first here. A few already looking to try and zone him up. Who's in back here? He might be a little bit trouble here. Chak Nu. Oh, no. Oh, no. Aggressively. And now, if you can't play with him in Nose Rage, he won't be the first one to fall. First one in the hands of Aduh, the Ryota. Falcons. AB Red. Few, look at him. He drags another one. A double kill for Few right from the get-go. I think that was kind of a messy fright from Smart Omega there. Chak Nu used his wall charge to try and get a pick up. Unfortunately, because he collided with the wall so far away, it didn't really do anything in terms of CC to flat easy. And then Smart Omega tried to follow up on that where there really was no setup to really use, which yeah. resulted in them getting picked off. Two kills to AP Brand, Turtle lost. And well, it's kind of already going what we expected could, the early game to be. Could you really blame him though, considering that Fuel was the one that, you know, dragged him out right as soon as his well, he immune came he out, Well, he could have right? used Wild Charge in the Back. other direction. Okay, fair enough, fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. Hold on, top lane? Okay, oh, he's fine. Top side though, Super Marco. You know, he's, he's gonna be having a good yeah. time here. Smart Omega makes another attempt up top, but again, you know, they're just playing very passively here. This this kind of reminds me of how Smart Omega is playing yesterday as well. Just play as defensively here, try to drag this game as long as possible, but as soon as I say this, Anduryu, he's gonna get caught out. He, he dropped all these spells yeah. in front of FCAP, <laughs> expecting that they wouldn't punish this. Uh, my face is just kind of full of judgment. Why did Andoryu do that? He just dashed over the wall and then did nothing with it. He he literally dashed over the wall and changed his mind and said, wait, let me out of here instead. And that is not going to work. Mati. They will be able to punish Chaknu as well. Fu was able to drag him out. And who said Juzin wasn't strong, but in the right hand, dang, this Juzin is kind of annoying now. Zusin as a hero will be weaker in the early game if the opponent side has a little bit more setup to play around and a little bit more frontline presence, which Smart Omega should have, but I don't really think they're doing a good job with it. Ooh, tough, but uh, Kao Tizi now, level 8 as compared to Enduru, he's having a fun time as uh, he's got 2 on 2 gonna build up a little bit more stacks here and there. Ukir, however, it does have a... Glowing one, so Quarters I'm inside not sure he's gonna do too yeah. much, but you know it's it's still something for Smart Omega to kind of take themselves in these upcoming fights. It will be useful to try and burn down a little bit some of these tankier, more sustainable heroes. I'm just worried if it's going to be enough because Falcons already have a 2k net worth lead. So you guys what kind of Oh, Ogwen oh, okay. making the dive here <laughs> on towards the back lines of Ryota. Forces a flicker, gets a free turtle in the process as well. Fal Falcons AP Brent just, you know, winning on all fronts at this stage. 
From what I can see here, actually, Zeusin may be the type of hero that allows you to balloon leads rather than saving them for you. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold that thought. Bottom lane, flap easy. Oh, what a flicker. Baiting out spells here. Spot Omega, unfortunately, not going to be able to get any kind of kills here. Unfortunately for him, Fuel, he's looking to try and drag Chang Du back, but things, it's just not worth it. Only the Grok is available. Yeah, they don't really need to do that. AP Brand are already in a pretty controlling position. As long as they're able to keep this lead intact, it will be difficult for Smart Omega to do anything for the next couple of minutes. The main issue, though, is that Jome actually has been uninterrupted. Yes, he lost his tier 1 tower, but the Moskov is still 0, 0, 0. I imagine his farm isn't too far behind that of Super Marcos. So I'm curious whether the master of all trades can turn this <laughs> one around. Yep, conceal plays here, trying to catch on to Kyle Easy. He smells something, immediately pops his auto, actually back off. So that's not going to be an uh, attempt here from Spawn Omega, completely uh, thwarted here in their plans. Uh, looking at the gold, yeah, actually, Jome only 300 gold behind Super Marco this far, despite a 3k net worth difference. So his farm is still keeping up pretty all right. But Omega need to make sure that they don't fall too much further behind. Because we already know how consistent Falcon's AP brand is as a team. Once they have that lead, they're going to make sure that they don't lose it. And I imagine that this Moskov is going to start becoming a target of interest very soon. Yeah, Joma has been playing very, very safe as well. He's, he needs to make sure that he doesn't get too far behind there. But Udo, no lane here, need to find Ogwen. That's gonna be a very big catch. Oh, look, he's angered two again. He's Ryota. Eh, he's angered again. Pull him back here. Few looking for his one v one on the side. Few nya, eh, bukan satu solo lo. Okay, gile, guys ya. Jarang kita lihat dan jarang kita temui, guys ya. Terlalu ngeri, bro. As Smart Omega stood no chance in that situation, Kyle TZ gonna be able to get the turtle for free. So Jome also trying to split push. Jome. Oh, oh no, Jome, he's in the middle. Oh, what an escape, but Fuse gonna be able to have his lantern on and distract him back. It is no guys. way nah. out there. Great little knee trick here Chak coming no. from Jome. Chak no, however, Chak Mamba tumbang, bro. in undertarred by Super Marco. Gets a tier 1 as well for FCAP. Yeah, an impressive mechanical play there using Moscow Spear to try Rio and escape. Tadi Ryota udah mukanya Mirip banget, bejir. Kadir to Z, guys. Buset. Until now, to keep his farm up to par with Falcon's AP brand, has finally met his first demise. And this is not looking good here. If we just look at the items, it's very clear that Falcons are way richer compared to Smart Omega. And I... I'm not too sure if they're gonna be able to make much of a difference here. They really gotta play for late, late stages when Joel yeah. comes online. There's no way to really make a comeback before that timing. Oh, combo coming from Enduryu. They are gonna try and catch Flap TZ, Ulu, but Flap this Ruby is extremely tanky here. Forces a flicker <laughs> out as well. Does have to sustain, and Omega, they can't seem to get the kill. However, they need to run now. Falcons, they're coming from the back lines. Look at this view. He's gonna be able to corner and Nuri is looking to try punish this here. Joe looking to keep it away. Eh, super jump nya gak ada yang tahu. Oh, amazing guys ya. Ini the black sheep for Smart Omega F cap. They will be able to find one only, but still what an escape from Joe. That is actually insane. I'm kind of surprised Flap didn't choose to check the left brush. He just checked the right brush and then figured like, I guess he just disappeared. He just stopped searching. It's kind of strange. Uh, what an outplay here, but still Falcon's AP brand. They still have the lead. They still have the net worth advantage. They are going to continue to press this year. Super Marco with the Zaman Force here does a serious damage onto his Ook here. And unfortunately to say, there's nothing much Omega can do at this stage. Even the purple bow is going to be stolen away, but uh, for now, they use the purple buff. They are going to try to attempt oh, this year. Ooh. Super Marco uses the Purify. He's going to get chased on here to get but Can he survive? Yes, he attack. will with the help of Kaudizi. The rest of the members of AFCAP is here to back him up. He's solo Ooh. fighting on his own in the back lines. He gets a kill on Andiru. Eh? Now he's going to try and extend Chakano. the fight. Chaknu, can he get out? Chakano. No, he Ooh. cannot. And he's gonna be the next to fall. Joel does have the turret here, but he needs to make a survival attempt here. Purify comes Joel, in, he's gonna nah. get JC seed, and he is also Nietzsche gonna be the next to fall. Yeah, and just like that, Falcon's AP bread completely shuts down Smart Omega. 
10 minutes into game number one, and we the kill score is 14 to 1. Falcon's AP Bren in full control, and despite the potential scaling in Moskov, I really don't see a path back into this game anymore. Falcons are just superior in terms of their control, in terms of their engagement, in their angles. They have Smart Omega beat in almost every factor, and this game in particular, the draft is really pushing that as well. This Zeus in, normally a hero that has been having trouble so far in Snapdragon, we are seeing it being played to its full potential. Now with the Lord crashing in as well, and there's such a huge lead, Smart Omega, they've got to try everything they can. Charge already using the wall charge to try and extend this fight, but Millenia Kaut, easy, he's able to drag Ryota out <laughs> Comfort, yes, and they will be able to burst him down. Smart Omega is down in member, but Aduh. as of now, can they continue to do so? Because FCAP, they look stronger than ever. Yeah, um, Joe, Masha, Allah, 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 Allah. is gone, and so are the chances of Smart Omega winning this game. Oh boy, this is tough. This is so tough for Smart Omega, but FCAP, they're doing really, really well, and they will continue to do so. And <laughs> with three members left, all they gotta do is just get one more pick. Ryota respawns back into the safety as well. He Check needs no. to do something about this, but Consumers. the minions are starting oh, to hurt as well. Here. Look at Fiu. Oh my goodness, this is dragging members yeah. left, right, right, and center. Check no, oh no. Oh. They find a pick on Chakno. Wow, free, 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 free. What can they do guys. at this point? Game bersama milik Falcons, Ivy Brand, ya guys, ya. Malumin aja, guys. Terlalu GG bro mereka bro. Oke lah ya kita lanjut ke game kedua guys. Terlalu open lah timnas bumi bro.